Time having arrived, 8 o'clock. Uh, I now call the City Council for March 10th order. Please rise and salute the flag. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilors, before we start the agenda tonight, we have a, uh, a great uh, guest here tonight that I'd like to introduce, uh, Jasmine Bennett. Uh, Jasmine's a 12-year-old student the Ashfield School here in the city of Brockton, and uh, she was recently accepted into People to People Student Ambassador Program, and that's, that's a great honor. And I know she uh, just uh, came before our colleagues on the school committee to introduce herself. I thought it was fitting and appropriate, and it's a great honor. Jasmine, if you want to come, come up and, and just uh, introduce yourself and maybe uh, quickly explain what the, uh, the Ambassador Program is all about. <coughs> okay. Good evening. I just wanted to come before you and introduce myself. My name is Jasmine Bennett and I am a sixth grade student at the Ashfield Middle School. I recently sent each member of the city councilor a letter in regards to me being accepted as a student ambassador to the People to People organization. The People to People Student Ambassador Program was started by President Eisenhower. In his vision, he believed people could promote more peace by learning about new cultures and places. My acceptance was based on leadership, a desire to learn about other cultures in different places around the world. I am very happy to be a part of this program and can't wait to visit Alaska in June. As a student from Brockton, I want you to know that I look forward to starting a great future for me and a good reputation for Brockton. That's awesome. That's Jasmine, one of the things that you said was leadership, and it runs in your family. Of course, your grandmother, Maybelline Bennett, is a true leader in our community. And uh, I would think in maybe 10 years, you'll be sitting up here. So we're all going to be watching for that. We wish you all the best. <laughs> Don't do it. Uh, Don't do it is right. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't really, listen uh, to him. <laughs> we really want to thank you for coming in tonight. It's a really great honor. It's a good thing for Brockton, and it's the City of Champions, and you're a true champion. So thank you again. Mr. President. May I ask one question, please? Absolutely, Councilor. Hi, Jasmine. Could I just ask you, I know that you're doing this um, for your own character development and to show um, how this program is important, but I know that there's a fundraising aspect to it. Could you just tell us a little bit about that before you leave so we all know if we want to donate and the people at home know how they can contribute? If you don't mind. <coughs> Okay, so I sent out um, pretty much letters, mm -hmm. and um, it talks about, like, um, why I need the money. Like, I... Oh, no, no, no. How can people donate? So we can... We can oh. I can Counselor, bring in the with, website? with all due respect, we have to be very cautious about soliciting within the chambers. Oh. Um, but but um, Jasmine sent each and every one of us Thank a you, really Jasmine. great detailed letter, yep. and I would hope that we all honor her request. You know what, Jasmine, thank you, and I will, I will forward that along to other people, too. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you again, Jasmine. <laughs> President, if I may, um, just, if I could just take a uh, personal privilege Absolutely here. Absolutely, Council. I've known um, Jasmine actually before. Jasmine knew herself. Her mother <laughs> and I uh, grew up together, and, and her grandmother definitely has been an influence in my life. And um, I just want to say that her mom also is a leader in the community. She's an excellent chef. Uh, she works at Brockton High, and she has, uh, I believe she has another um, chef position someplace else, but she works very, very hard and does an excellent, has done an excellent job with Jasmine in, in her rearing, and I just want to commend the Bennett family um, on the, the wonderful job they've done on Jasmine. Congratulations, and I'm so happy to support you and help you in any way I can. Thank you again, Council. Thank you, Jasmine. Have a good evening. Uh, Mr. Clerk, if we could uh, go to agenda item number one, please. The appointment of Marie Harris, okay. Brockton, to the Brockton University Commission for a three-year term in March 2017. That is referred to finance councilors. Colleen Amendi the uh, Harvard Ab, Brockton, Brockton Council of Aging, three-year term in March 2017. That also is referred to finance. 
Paul Marion of Brockton to the Brockton License, alternate to the Brockton License Commission, three-year term ending March 2017. Referred to finance. Appointment David Zaff, Brockton Conservation Commission, three-year term ending March 2017. Referred to finance, councils. Appointment of Mary Beth O'Brien to the Brockton Historic District Commission, three-year term ending March 2017. Also referred to finance. Appointment of Christopher Koska to the Brockton Historical Commission for three-year term ending March 2017. Referred to finance. The appointment of Lorraine Lally to the Brockton Council of Aging for three-year term ending March 2017. Also referred to finance. The appointment of Irene Clegg to the Brockton Council of Aging for three-year term ending March 2017. That too is referred to finance. We have a renewal petition of Brian Parker, DBA Brian's Taxi, Inc., 20 Putnam Street, Brockton, for 17 taxi licenses in Council March uh, 10, 2014. Councilors, that's referred to public safety. Petition of Ori Gonsalves for, for a solicit to canvas a license. Councilors, time having arrived, I hereby declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? If so, please come to the podium and state your name to the clerk. Is there anyone here? Gonzales. Mr. Gonzales, are you here? Yes. Please come forward. That's okay, sir. If you could state your name, your address for the clerk. Juari Gonzales, 7 Kilmer Ave, Tar and Mass. Uh, Council. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, what are you looking to solicit and canvas for? Um, I work for a solar company. Um, it's called Solar City. And point of information through you to our clerk, possibly. Uh, Mr. Clerk, are these uh, vetted by the police department or how does that work? Through you, Mr. Clerk. This is a, an application to go on foot house to house and solicit. It's been run through the police department. Police Department in turn has okayed this individual and sent it over to the council for approval. There are, this uh, gentleman or anybody that canvasses will have to make known where, what part of the city he's canvassing in, what time, and after a certain hour, I believe it's six o'clock, he's limited to canvassing in certain areas. Uh, his car should be marked, he should have an ID tag and he should have identification on his vehicle as well. All of that is passed to him through the police department. Through the police department. Okay, right. thank you. I couldn't remember the process. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, and you're aware that this is just for you, not for other people, correct? Uh, correct. Okay. Thank you. That's thank the only question. Council, any other questions? Is there anyone else here in favor about this issue? Seeing none, Councils, I'm going to declare that part of the hearing uh, closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please come forward and state your name to the clerk. Anyone here in opposition? Seeing none, I'm going to hereby declare that portion of the hearing closed. Matter comes before us, councils. Questions on a granting? All in favor of granting? All opposed? Motion uh, has passed. Uh, license is hereby granted. Report of the Finance Committee meetings for March 3rd, 2014. It's accepted and placed on file, councils. We have a communication from the mayor appointing Karen A. Fisher to the position of assistant <coughs> city solicitor full-time for a three-year term, effective March 10, 2014. Attorney Fisher currently holds this position in a part-time capacity. That is accepted and placed on file. From the mayor recommending that the city council amend the revised ordinances of the city of Brockton, Article 2, nuisances. That also is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Executive Health Officer requesting acceptance and expenditures of a grant award in the amount of $3,500 from the National Association of County and City Health Officials for the purpose of building the level of volunteers and equipment for our Medical Reserve Corps. Also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. That too, Council, is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. 
communication from the DPW Commissioner requesting to expend additional funds up to amount of $750,000 for the purpose of fiscal 2014 snow removal in accordance with Chapter 44, Section 31D of the Mass General Laws. That is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Also accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the CFO in accordance with Section 5, Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, stating that he cannot certify the proposed authorization of expenditures up to $750,000 in addition to the amount already appropriated and authorized for deficit spending for snow removal. This level of deficit spending authorizes $1.75 million in total, is large enough to have an impact on the fiscal 15 budget, nonetheless recommending approval because the clearance of snow from highways is a necessity for public safety. Councilors, that is accepted and placed on file. <coughs> Communication from the Traffic Commissioner requesting a transfer in the amount of $8,850 from Traffic Commission Fiscal 2014 Ordinary Maintenance Public Safety to Traffic Commission Fiscal 2014 Personal Services Overtime in order to correct and continue making payments previously paid out of the incorrect Ordinary Maintenance Line Item of Public Safety to public property employees doing work for the Traffic Commission. That is accepted and placed on file, Councilor. From the mayor recommending the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Patient from the CFO relative to the same. That too accepted and placed on file. <clears throat> we have the appointment of Joseph C. Gonsalves, 292 Field Street, Brockton, the Brockton Redevelopment Authority for five year term ending February 2019. In council February 24, 2014, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council. Mr. President, I make a motion we take items 23 through 32 collectively. Second. Motions for made properly seconded to take uh, collectively 23 through 28 30. 30. It should 30. be, Councilor. The other two are reappointments. I'm sorry. Thank you. 28 and 30. You're going to take one further. I'm on exclude 28. 28. I'm sorry. 28. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Yes. Can't do them collectively. Excluding number 28. And 32. Hmm? And 30. Excluding 30. Mr. President, number 28. And 30. We're going to explode that in 28 and 30. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Motions made to take collectively 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29. And it's for properly second. All in favor? 31, 32. No. All opposed? That carries. He's here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> 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 better celebrate St. Patty's Day a little early. Yeah, the question is going to be uh, on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Uh, Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Okay. The following appointments have been made in Council February 24, 2014, referred to the Standing Committee on Finance, and they were reported favorably. The appointment of Henry Tatalia, Brockton, to the License Commission for a three-year term ending February 2017. <coughs> the appointment of David Wheeler, Brockton, to the Planning Board for a five-year term ending February 2019. <coughs> the appointment of uh, Edlin Charnell, of Foster Street, to the Brockton Zoning Board of Appeals for a three-year term ending February 2017. The appointment of Richard Wernick to the Brockton Board of Park Commissioners for five-year term ending February 2019, and the appointment, or the appointment of Richard E. Bath, Brockton, as a trustee of the War Memorial Building for a three-year term ending February 2017. Again, Councilors, the question is on a confirmation by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Hazak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Yes. Apple. Yes. Wow. Yes. Ionary. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. 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 Uh, those uh, collectively 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29 uh, hereby confirmed, councillors. Number 28, Mr. Clerk. The appointment of Charles F. Studensky, 56 Manors Avenue, Brockton, to the Board of Park Commissioners for a five year term ending February 2019, in council February 24, 2014, referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Councillors, the question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Burns. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Naples. Yes. Wow. Yes. Ionary. I guess so. Yes. Monaghan. <laughs> uh, yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. Councilors, the appointment is hereby confirmed. 
Mr. Clerk, number 30, please. The appointment of Laurie Monahan, 174 Manomet Street, Brockton, trustee of the War Memorial Building, City of Brockton, for a three-year term, ending February 2017, and council February 24, 2014. Referred to the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Council's questions on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azan. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Clark. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Kennedy. Yes. Council's the appointment is hereby confirmed. Reappointment of Mark Lindy, Brockton, to the Board of Trustees for the Brockton Public Library for a three year term, ending February 2017. <coughs> Council's the reappointment question is uh, on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azar. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Black. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Councilors, the reappointment is hereby confirmed. Reappointment of Miles Jackson, Brockton, as a trustee to the War Memorial Building for year term ending February 2017. And Council February 24, 2014. Refer to the Committee on Finance. Our report is favorable. Councilors, reappointment questions on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Netflix. Yes. Clark. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Reappointment is hereby confirmed. Transfer of three thousand dollars from parking meter reserve fees, parking authority purchase of services to fund the lease of parking lot in Petronelli Way in order to accommodate demand for parking. In council February twenty fourth, two thousand and fourteen. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council's question on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azan. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Clark. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. Council's the transfer order is hereby adopted. Transfer of $11,864 from Finance Department Personal Services other than overtime to Mayor's Department Personal Services other than overtime in order to restore the funding paid as separation costs to staff members of Mayor Lindy <coughs> Bell's Audi. In Council February 24, 2014, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. No. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. No. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. No. Sullivan. No. Seven in the affirmative, four in the negative. Two thirds vote. Fails. Uh, Councilors, you need a two thirds vote on that. Uh, that transfer hereby fails. Transfer of twenty-three thousand four dollars from Finance Department Personal Services <coughs> other, other than overtime to Mayor Department's Personal Services other than overtime in order to provide additional financing for the present members of the mayor's staff for fiscal 2014. One staff member will be transferred to the payroll to fill an existing vacancy in the Safe and Successful Youth Initiative grant for a portion of the balance of the fiscal year. This will reduce the previously required amount of funding. In Council, February 24, 2014, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Uh, is the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. No. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. No. Pioneer. No. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Sadinsky. No. Sullivan. No. Damn. Council's uh, transfer, you need a two thirds vote on that transfer hereby fails. Resolved that the Mayor William Carpenter, CFO John Cardinan, City Solicitor Philip Nazarella, and Mr. Mark Lindy, Executive Director of Brockton Community Access, come before the Finance Committee to discuss the cable agreement and all terms, rights, and obligations defined therein between the City of Brockton and BCA, and to further produce and discuss any and all amendments, including but not limited to a certain memorandum of agreement and or memorandum of understanding between the City and BCA. On Council February 10, 2014, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council's uh, question is on adoption by a roll call vote. President, Mr. Clerk. Yes. I would Councilor. like to make a motion to table this as we may need to bring it up later in the year once I hear back from Comcast. Second. Second on the table. No discussion on the table. All in favor of tabling? Hands up if you're in favor of tabling. 
you're opposed, please put your hands up. The matter is here by table. Thank you. An ordinance amending Chapter 20 of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton, being ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 20, Streets and Sidewalks. Uh, that's referred to ordinance. An ordinance amending Article 2 of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton, being ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Article 2, Nuisances. That also is referred to ordinance. An appropriation of $3,500 from the <clears throat> National Association of County and City Health Official Departments of Health and Human Services Grant Fund to the City of Brockton Board of Health Medical Reserve Corps Grant Fund. That's referred to fed, uh, finance. An appropriation of funds up to $750,000 in excess of amounts already appropriated and in addition to the amount of $1 million previously authorized under Mass General Law Chapter 4431D by City Council for deficit spending in February 2014 for DPW highway snow removal for the purpose of fiscal 2014 snow removal in accordance with Chapter 44, Section 31D of the Mass General Laws. Refer to finance. A transfer of $8,850 from Traffic Commission Ordinary Maintenance Public Safety to Traffic Commission Personal Services Overtime in order to correct and continue making payments previously paid out of the incorrect ordinary maintenance line item of public safety to public property employees doing work for the Traffic Commission. Refer to finance. Resolved that the City Council hereby request that a representative and our representatives of Aquaria appear before the Finance Committee to address questions pertaining to desalinization water contract. Councilors, I filed this resolve uh, for the new councilors uh, that weren't here last legislative session. We filed this. Uh, the parties came before from Aquaria. They were ill prepared. Uh, at that time, we uh, continued it. Uh, and and it, it died because there was a new legislative session. I've refiled it. I'm going to refer it to finance, but it's going to be the first finance committee in April, which is next month. Mr. President. Councilor Dubois. Um, at this time, I have a late file um, that I'm putting on um, because it's actually, it has to go to real estate, and it's for a 104-year-old woman, and time is always of the essence when you're 104 years old. Second. 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 Thank you. Councilor, as I said on late files, I'll accept the late files, but I need to know prior to... Uh, it being here right now. Uh, I accept it though. If Thank you can read it, Mr. Clerk. Order that the City Council hereby releases a restriction that plot 57-1 Ames Street, map 164, route 250, is a non-buildable lot, which restriction was established by City Council order adopted February 23, 2004, and which restriction was referenced in a certain deed from the City of Brockton to Ann Lawrence, recorded at Plymouth County Registry of Deeds, Books 27809, page 301, conditioned upon the granting to the city of a deed restriction from said plot 57-1, parcel ID number 164-250, and for plot 57 Ames Street, parcel ID number 164-250, that said parcels can only be further developed for single-family homes and that the combined parcels cannot be subdivided more than three times. It's got to be referred to uh, Real Estate Committee, Councilors. Uh, any moments of personal privilege, Councilors? Councilors, no. yes. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be having a ward meeting uh, this Wednesday, March 12th at 6 p.m. at George's Cafe. Um, <clears throat> and also uh, the uh, annual uh, Brockton Public Safety Mass will be celebrating St. Patrick's Day this Saturday, March 15th at 11 a.m. at St. Patrick's Church, followed by a reception at Tommy Doyle's, which is the old sidelines <coughs> and uh, even though the council cords will be playing please stop by Mr. President Council Dubois I have a moment of personal privilege um, today marked the 73rd anniversary of the Strand uh, fire where the the Brock and Fire Department lost 13 of uh, their admirable firefighters in that in that blaze and um, I heard that it was a remarkable ceremony uh, this morning at City Hall and I'd just like to have a moment of personal I mean one moment of silence in honor of, of those 13 it's most fitting counselor thank you take a moment of silence may they rest in peace Mr. President, if I might, just a couple of things under a moment of personal privilege. 
Tomorrow evening I'll be hosting a ward meeting at the John F. Kennedy School from 7 to 9 p.m. The ward meeting is open to all residents of Ward 3 and of course the, uh, the general uh, public as well. One of the items that we'll be talking about is property on Linwood Street which used to be the home of the former radio station. There's going to be a developer there present there to discuss uh, what could possibly be a development. So I, I do want to make sure that people that live in that area have the chance to at least come out and, and hear um, what the plans may be. Second of all, week from Tuesday, March 18, 2014, 6 p.m. here in the council chambers, we'll have an ordinance meeting. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President. <coughs> Councilor Azak. Um, I would like to announce that there's a Ward 7 meeting on Thursday, March 13th, which is this Thursday at 7 p.m. at the Fuller Craft Museum on Oak Street from 7 to 9. Thank, thank you. you, Councilor. Councilor. Mr. President, thank you. Moment of personal privilege? Absolutely, sir. Uh, I, I want to keep this date open for everybody on Wednesday, March 26th at 6.30 p.m. Councilor Dubois and myself will be hosting a ward meeting at the Mary Baker School. That's March 26th. It's on a Wednesday night at 6.30. Thank you. Thank you, Councilors. Uh, I also uh, wanted to comment on the, on the Strand Ceremony this morning. Uh, it was extremely well attended, except there was one person that was always there that wasn't there this year, and that's our former great chief, uh, Chief Burrow. Uh, but what uh, the president of 144, Archie Gormley, said, and I think it was an awesome idea and well, well thought out, uh, is that every day going forward when we have that ceremony uh, to mark uh, that tragedy, there will be a chief uh, seat with his helmet there, specifically uh, laid out for Chief Burrow, and I just thought that was a great thing. And I know a lot of my colleagues were here this morning, and it was uh, it was really uh, always uh, something uh, solemn, but very very uh, special. Um, one other thing, talking about special events, I know a lot of you, and I, I myself participated last week in the unknown school in the Brookfield School, Read Across America, and I want to thank everybody uh, here on the council that did, because you really make those young kids' days when you go there and read to their class. Uh, you know, I myself have a tough time reading Dr. Seuss, you know, with the iambic pentameter, but I got through it. So um, I also want to make it clear, even though next Monday is uh, a very, very special day to the Irish and the non-Irish alone, St. Patrick's Day, we are going to be here. We are going to be here at 7 o'clock on Monday the 17th for our Finance Committee. And I'm going to ask right now respectfully that we do it in a uh, prompt manner. Time is of the essence, and let's uh, be cognizant of that because I know there's some other city events that are going on that night that we want to attend, uh, and then the ordinance uh, committee meeting will be following the next night. So, uh, Councilor Yanieri, with that. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. At this time, I hereby move that the City Council go into executive session to discuss strategy with respect to pending litigation as an open meeting may have, may have de detrimental effect on the litigating position of the public body. Second. Second. <laughs> Motion's been made uh, and properly seconded to go into executive session to discuss strategy with respect to pending litigation as an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the litigating position of the public body. As chair of this public body, I state that an open meeting may indeed have a detrimental effect on the litigating position of this public body. The motion has been properly seconded and a roll call vote is required. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Yes. 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 Councilors, we are hereby in executive session. The council will not come back in open session. We will adjourn after the executive session. We're now in executive session. Let's please go into the back room.